Hello, six standard children. Welcome to this video session. We are meeting after four months of lockdown period. Yeah, hearty welcome. I hope you are enjoying this lockdown period along with the learning these lessons in all subjects. Is it not? Now welcome. Have a good day. And today I am going to discuss. Biology portion of the first lesson. What you have learned so far, right? Now this biology. Now first, as you are in sixth standard, I am sure you will be knowing that for science subject, you have to learn as physics separate, chemistry separate, and biology separately. And then biology again, you will learn. Botany and zoology separately, but we have only one book as science book where all these physics, chemistry, and biology lessons are there. So yeah, so the first lesson is food. Where does it come from? Ready or not? Yeah. Hmm. Now only we only discussion and the silly point where I want to. I am sure you have already learned the lesson. But certain points what I want to highlight and discuss as we used to do in previous classes, we are going to do it. I hope you understand. Okay. Now this food, what is it? What are we eating today? As a breakfast. Normally, what do we eat for breakfast? Most of you eat idli or dosa. Yes, it not. Now, idli is made up of what? You don't know. You have to know because idli we know it is made up of rice and dal, right? So this content of the idli is called ingredient. First, food item what you are eating, and that contains ingredients. That contains ingredient. So yeah. So now here the food that we are eating will contain ingredients. In the ingredients, we shall do it. Suppose today you have taken idli. What does it contain? It contains rice and urud. Urud na urud. Dal na parpa. Purud dal. So yeah. Purud dal. Okay. So this is content of the idli that the mouth pere batter. Idli mouth chanolya. I can pere batter. Right. So it contains rice and purud dal. Plus where are we, how are we preparing? We are soaking it in water. So that water is also here an ingredient. I hope you understand. Huh? So idli batter will have rice, urad dal, and water. Normally preparation detail I am not going, but we say arsiya urunde ura vichhe apna adhikarachhe water water la ura vichhe pour on that. अदरों I got the salt and water. So this is this is ingredients. I hope you understand. Hmm? And if you are eating uh, samba rice, what will you do for samba rice? First, rice. Rice again content element. Rice and water. Rice. Tanne ke abhi tanne kuri ke bhi So it is rice and water. Okay. And then for samba. It has mixture of ingredients. Ingredients na 
content of the food that we are eating. Okay, so it contains mixture of ingredients. Enala sambar ke, one sambar puri itsuko. Illa na sambar kande manavatel daniya. Illa anmari parpe adala chee chare ke onle plus. And sambar and the puni like a pounce of tamarind, other world in the end. The Maria the lamb, now a food day table, check no more, other the lamb period in the end. I hope you understand. Mm -hmm. Now, from where are these ingredients arising? How do we know? Rice now can get the record there from the paddy field. Paddy and the nail is a loader. And then let the hands are the same now. So from the paddy field. Now this paddy is a plant or animal. Paddy is a plant. So yeah. So now from the ingredients, we should learn the sources of food items. We should learn sources of food items as plant source of Animal source on the pentanum. It will be plant source of animal source on the pentanum. Okay. So now first one is rice. Rice in the source. Rice on the plant source. Rice on the plant source. Second one is Puruddal. It is plant source. Okay. Then third one water. अगर ना दें रेंड में सोर्स करें यार अगर ना दें फ्रॉम अदर सोर्सेस वी विल से फ्रॉम अदर सोर्सेस सो वनली अनदर वन साल्ट ये दो प्लांट वो करें यार अन्य मनो करें यार सो ये दो वो अदर सोर्सेस द इंग्रेडिएंट्स वाटर एंड साल्ट इन एनी ऑफ द फूड डाइटेम्स हैव no sources of plant and animal. We can just say it is a natural sources of food item. I hope you understand. Hmm? So the salt on the upper on the level, now we have to do two things. Upper on the, and then the sea water and all that water is it is a procedure. So so that is the salt of water. I hope you understand. Hmm? So any food item. That we have. Now in the food and where does it come from? The heading body. You should know first so definition or what are ingredients, and then what are the sources of the food items given. I have given an example as in the same way. Any example can be given. If it is given as roti. And then the roti will have wheat. Again, water there. Wheat is a plant source. Right? If you are taking a cup of milk, again milk is a source. Again, what the milk is? Normally, we take cow milk. Yeah. So it is a animal source. And then, madri, now we have three number to connect it with the other side. We should say which is the source as plant or animal. Okay. Now in our textbook, as given one example in the page number page ten, there one table column. In the table column, there, that one is another food item. I cut that one. Is what are the content components of food item? अरु नमाने इप्पो वन वन बाय वन वी विल सी चलिए इबार के दरने वी सी इन अवर टेक्स्ट बुक अनदर पोर्शन सो फर्स्ट वन दे इंग्रेडिएंट्स पढ़ेगे ना एंड दे वी शुड नो व्हाट आर द सोर्सेस ऑफ दोस इंग्रेडिएंट एंड दैट वी लर्न इट अस प्लांट सोर्सेस एंड एनिमल सोर्सेस एनिमल सोर्सेस ले नार्मल इनला पढ़ मिल्क बटर बटर मिल्क चीज पनीर मीट फ्लश एग फिश इनला एनिमल सोर्सेस 
I hope you understand. These are all animal sources of food. Okay. Now this ingredient, no, sorry. These sources, again we have it as one example, mustard plant. And the sources say me, mustard planted for. And then rice. Among the plant sources I am telling now. This is a plant source. Mustard plant na kadal it shedi chukonne kadal. The kadal la, in the portion la nama food la eat no eatable one. Mustard la, it is only the seed. I hope you understand. Mustard la, it is a seed. Whereas rice la nanda, again it is a seed. Chariya. So green leaves, there are varieties of green leaves. And the leaf is a portion of plant source. The part that we are using is the leaf. I hope you understand. Whereas moringa drumstick. Moringa na drumstick. And the end portion is the Eatable portion, moringa, drumstick, which part of the plant is taken as sources of food. When you use it, you will get a little bit of a moringa. When I'm at the little bit of a common, I'm going to school to see, I'm going to go to school. Is it not? Is it not? Is it not? Is it not? It is as drumstick fruit, moringa kai, moringa kai, moringa kai. Murungi ada yang ada, nama murungi kira itu juga boleh. So, nama kira leaf anda, fine. Leaf itu vegetable lor, we are using it as plant sources. So, ada mana? Every part of the plant, every bende we are using it for cooking. Ada yang plant sources lor, nama kita tempat kita nama. Okay. Ada yang mana? Animal sources lor. Same way in animal sources, milk is good. Milk is from the cow chalo, animal sources. That is why there is a product in the milk. Milk as, milk as such, then milk cheese, then butter curd, sorry, curd. Curd, buttermilk, अबे नीडी ने कौन? Buttermilk, butter, पनीर, अलमारी, these are all milk products. तो ये देख पे, all products concerned with the milk and milk products, they are called dairy products. Spelling कर दो, they are called dairy products. I hope you understand this. Okay. So animal sources la Ampande either sources other products of Charanam. Suppose if you take fish, fish level of product at lam, fish oil, fish acids, we can take it as a food. Like fish oil normal, we take it as Sources of food. Yeah. So fish oil, namonde get the form. So this is a animal product, right? Now honey. Honey na yun de. Tea. Honey de yun de namonde product. Honey la. Tea kudo chuno de. Ano tea kudo la? The honey bees yonde will prepare a hive. Tea kudo to pare hive. The ten food is very honey shaker. And the honey, it is an animal product. And it is very highly useful product as and as it has medicinal value. Very highly useful, especially in Siddha and Ayurvedic. We can use honey to make honey. 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 
அதில் ரொம்ப கஷ்டம் அக்கடை சித்தரத்தை அதிமதுரம் அந்த மாதிரி பவுடர்லாம் நம்ம எடுத்துக்கிறது அது கொஞ்சம் கசப்பு டேஸ்டாக இருக்கும் ஃபர் தட் அது வந்து ஹனியோட சேர்ப்பாங்க ஸோ ஹனி இஸ் ஹேவிங் ஹைலி நியூட்ரிட்டிவ் அண்ட் மெடிசினல் வேல்யூ அண்ட் இட் ஹேஸ் ஆன்டி கேன்சரஸ் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி ஸோ ஹனி இஸ் அ வெரி யூஸ்ஃபுல் ப்ராடக்ட் அனிமல் ப்ராடக்ட் I hope you understand. Yeah? So now, this <coughs> product as one example, I say Miracle. Miracle on the, one example I will give you. Miracle on the product you can use. So Miracle, So now this milk, I say, what are the, how do you get milk from, what is the source for the milk in Chalu? So that is the cow milk order in the area. Curd, curd Chalu, the curd is the butter. அப்படின்னாக்க You should say, cow, அது மிலுக்கு தரும் மிலுக்கில் இருந்து curd எடுப்போம் curd இருந்து butter எடுப்போம் butter இருந்து ghee எடுப்போம் I hope you understand இல்லை இதுதா sources of ghee for the animal product I hope you understand அது வாதுரி different examples குடுப்பேன் அனதிர் example honey நான் என்ன எடுக்கணும் ஹனி பி லேந்து ஹனி பி ஹை ஹனி அந்த ஹனி பி அந்த மாதிரி அதில் இருந்து எடுக்கணும் ஐ ஹோப் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் பட்டர் மில்க் கேட்கலாம் பட்டர் மில்க்னா மறுபடியும் கவு மில்க் கர்ட் பட்டர் மில்க் அந்த மாதிரி யூ ஷுட் நோ டு சார்ட் அவுட் த சோர்சஸ் ஆஃப் அனிமல் ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் ஐ ஹோப் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் சில கண்டினியூ ஜஸ் கோ த்ரூ திஸ் What is written in the board? Just go through. Are you able to follow? I hope you understand. Now we will continue to run. This uh, uh, sources of oil parts and uh, animal sources. For example, ghee everywhere they are paying. Another example is chana. Chana na. The konda karala ye chalo. That chana. You allow it to soak for 2-3 hours or whole night you allow it to soak. That is why the chana is going to put it in a bowl. And after 4 or 5 hours you drain the water. That is why you put it in a bowl. You have to soak the water for 4 or 5 hours or overnight. And then you have to drain the water. Drain the water na, dhani ya, vadi kattu na. Chariya. And then you just tie all those chana in the cloth. Uru chinna vajshti tuni leyo, towel leyo, anal kattu na. Dhani ya vadi kattu na. Kattu na. Leave it for a day. Then after few hours or the next day, we find it. All that chana have sprouted, sprouting the molecule. All the chana have molecule. If you eat the molecule, you can eat the molecule. Right? So this sprouting of chana is a method of taking it as a plant sources. Okay? This is the activity of the school. I will do this activity in the school. I hope you understand this. Huh? So this is sprouting of channel. Okay. 
and the next one we say all these sources of food in our land padikiram illa as plant these are normally we come across another term called food chain food chain le or word padikiram adilla plants green plants are the producers green plants are the producers enna produce pandrathu food produce pandrathu green plants prepare food they are food producers green plants prepare food by the process called photosynthesis you have learned in the lower classes is it not so plants prepare food by the process called photosynthesis and that plants are eaten by animals for food clear yeah. so the green plants which can prepare their own food they are called autotrophs you know technical term for you they are called autotrophs green plants can prepare their own food by the process called photosynthesis and those plants are called autotrophs auto na self thane padikka mudiyum and those plants are eaten by some animals aadu maadu clear man giraffe idella in the plant chaapra illa so that plant eating animals or grass eating animals they are called herbivores they are known as herbivores abina and herbivores plant eating animals are called herbivores animals seriya and they are also known as primary consumers consume pandradena chaapana i consume this food abina na chaapana and the food so that is called primary consumers herbivores are called primary consumers okay and these herbivores in the example and goat sheep idella kind of primary consumer and these herbivores they go to sheep and eat they are all eaten by another set of animals clear yeah. and they are called carnivores they are known as carnivores or secondary consumer or they are called secondary consumer in the example you can take fox sir and then it will be frog chalala frog chalala snake these are the secondary consumers okay so it will be frog kelam me illa chapter chinna insects da irukum okay the sheep and fox chapter deer chapter chapter illa adala secondary consumers i hope you understand animal and plant as a Uh, primary food producer they are called omnivorous animal uh, animals which eat both herbivores and producers they are called omnivorous animals example crow and human human and vegetarian or non vegetarian or pala so they are called omnivorous animals okay so now the food prepared by the green plants apo adha vandu herbivore eduthathu then carnivore then omnivore this uh, omnivores are either one chain breakers na that becomes 
that is decay and that decompose that is made by that is acting upon bacteria fungi and bacteria acting upon this dead and decomposed matter and they are called decomposers and those decomposers they are again forming the nutrient soil nutrient for further growth of the next generation of the plants like that in the chain of reaction the chain of reaction chalamato level of energy transfer this chain of level of energy transfer is called potential energy transfer is called food chain okay different level of energy transfer from primary food producers food producers primary consumer secondary consumer tertiary consumer and decomposers they are forming a food chain i hope you understand so yeah. so now this food chain it will be told right this food chain example we will write as grass zebra line book example grass eaten by zebra zebra eaten by lion so same grass eaten by frog that is eaten by snake idu or food chain example sare ipo nama ind frog lion chapala yeah so adu a set of food chain i hope you understand right so in the food chain e paathore we come across two terms one is vegetarian another one is non vegetarian enna solluno human who take plants and plant sources of food alone they are called vegetarians human who take both animals and plant sources they are called non vegetarian people this is one of my love creative question sorry then another one as perishable and non perishable food abina enade idella creative question food chelliyaachu illa appo and food la perishable and non perishable food what is the meaning perishable and non perishable food they are alugaradu alugala porul nu solluvom la ipo potato onion sweet potato chepangalangu all this you can leave it for one week or so and they are all called non perishable food item whereas perishable food item which can be destroyed which can become rotten easily in the food item la easy a alighirumo they are called perishable food items okay and that can be stored in the cold storage namala katrike vendike thakali all fruits when we are buying when we are not using it immediately it has to be kept in a cold storage so that's that is perishable and non perishable food items i hope you understand this huh? then in this still a few questions it is this this as given in our textbook okay now how do we keep our body healthy how do we keep our body healthy we keep our body healthy by taking regular meals rest and exercise how do we keep our body healthy we keep our body healthy by taking regular meals rest and exercise 
sorry, uh, Amelia's employment, the content of the management. So, I have listed on the end it is easily making into a structure called Raffaella. So, that fiber content on the it is forming a Raffaella. Okay. So, here, our yellow number food, fiber food, yet grown food from plants is packed with nutrients and is also rich in fiber which helps in digestion which helps in digestion and prevents constipation constipation and the motion for the single pundi yavla inisiya poha but suffer pannu vaangile other constipation so if you take food item as fiber food frequently that will prevent constipation so yeah then why are seeds a good source of nutrient? Normal, the chana, pacha, well, when a polda canal, pacha pike, mochai, and they are good source of nutrients. They contain all nutrients needed for the growth of young plants. Seeds are germination will have all the nutrients needed for the plants here yeah. and so it is a good source of nutrients i hope you understand hmm? seeds are good source of nutrients because they contain all the nutrients needed for the growth of young plants okay then another question note Write two sentences about clouds. Clouds make ram this rule. Write two sentences about clouds. Clouds na ram. Ram the rule. Na clouds. I mean, I mean, we use for ram na. Clouds are dried flowers. Now we use for the clouds of cram on the dried flowers. Clouds are dried flowers with the bud. Dried flower buds of the cloud tree. Of the cloud tree. Now we use for the dried flower. It is used as spices. It is used as spices. Spice on the or ingredient. It is used as spices. The masala, brinchi, pula, vegetable rice, alala pulonda, alala spices. So they are used as spices. Okay, so clouds number book like that. I have note for you. It is a dried flower bud of cloud tree, called a gram, and it is used as spices as ingredients. Okay, then what are called poultry products? Poultry na yung the kori, bate, armadila, the the chine chine chicken na yung 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 the egg and meat of birds like hen, duck and goose are called poultry products. The kori, vatu and the variety of them, they are called poultry products. Okay. Then what is the function of calcium in our body? Actually, it is a question in our question bank. But it is one of the best parts of it. Calcium is one of the minerals. Food component like vitamin. Okay. The milk is rich source of protein and calcium, which is needed for the growth of bones and proper functioning of nerves. The growth of nerves and proper functioning of bones. This is for calcium. Actually, I will add the lesson level. And then, what are dairy products? Milk is the Poultry products, what are dairy products? Many products like butter, cheese, cream, curd, and paneer. They are obtained from milk. 
They have heart dairy problems. Okay. Then how is honey made? Honey is made by bees from the nectar of flowers. Are main or chana? Again, the the flowers by honey. Sorry, honey bee. This is the flowers for nectar. And the nectar, I mean, it is accumulating in its bee hive. And the mother, and honey bee, I mean, the flower I visit for now. It is taking another important event for the plant for fruit formation that is called pollination. That is the other element. Okay? So, flower, the honey bee, I mean, the number important. Honey is made by bees from the nectar of flowers. We will continue. Okay? I hope you understand. This further discussion will continue in the next class. Thank you. We will continue. This we are talking about the honey. Yeah. Now honey is made by honey bees. How this honey bee when it is visiting the flowers for nectar and the nectar the honey. What we are using it. At the same time, this honey bee is helpful for the flower for pollination. That is the chapter for pollination. Pollination is the process of transference of pollen grain from the anther to the stigma. It is called pollination that is for the fruit formation. So, it is also helpful for the flower. Then, what is the importance of honey? Abena, honey is rich in sugar. What is it? Honey. Honey is honey. Na, 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 ten. I hope you know that. Yeah. Honey, what is ten? It is rich in sugar and has and has some medicinal and antiseptic properties. Now, we la honey na machaapto na. It is antiseptic properties. So, this is for the honey. Okay, then we were talking about food chain. Yeah, food chain. What are herbivores? In other herbivores on. In other words, animals such as cow, deer, and giraffe that eat only plant or plant products for their food are called herbivores. Plant products, na in other words. Wara ini lebih je kerana kau mula na marah tak beti kotor pa, ni? Anu lah pun plant ni dah ni, so they are plant products ni, so ni boh. So animals which eat plant or plant products, they are called herbivores. An example, cow, deer and giraffe. Deer na man, I hope you know that. Giraffe na, giraffe na ni dah, tapi kalau tu ni elok macam ni. Yeah, Jira. Okay. Then, uh, write two sentences about teeth of herbivore. In the main, uh, the teeth arrangement. Teeth in a pallet. Teeth arrangement is very important. Why? It's not a book, but you should know about it. So, we have a question bank. Herbivores have strong, sharp front teeth. In the teeth, it's clear. It has strong, sharp front teeth. That is called biting teeth. In the yellow candy so it is biting teeth to cut the foot. And if you cut it, So it has herbivores have strong, sharp front teeth. Very important. Front teeth for that is called biting teeth to cut the foot. Then they have flat molars. Actually, the higher animals have the types of teeth. One of the incisors, biting teeth. Canine and the cutting and tearing the flesh. Canine, molars and premolars. The premolars and molars are the Kadawa Palachalola. And then the Silla animals are the Nalap proper aku, mungkin kalau present aku, sila dilihat anda nasi. Okay, so ni herbivores lah. 
ਤਬੇ ਜੋ ਪਸੂਆਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਵੀ ਵਕਤ ਵਰਸੇ ਆਇਆ ਕਰ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਅਦਲਾ ਮੇ ਮੋਸਟਲੀ ਮੋਲਰਸ ਆਈ ਹੋਪ ਯੂ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਸੋ ਹੀਅਰ ਦੇ ਹੈ ਫਲੈਟ ਮੋਲਰਸ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਕਾਲ ਗਰਾਈਂਡਿੰਗ ਟੀਥ ਐਂਡ ਪਚੂਇੰਗ ਦੇਅਰ ਫੂਡ ਨਾਰਮਲ ਦ ਕਾਉਲ ਐਂਡ ਨਾ ਮਨਨ ਨੱਲ ਫੁੱਲ ਲਾ ਮੇਂਜਿਟ ਨੱਲ ਸ਼ਾਫਟ ਦੈਨ ਇਟ ਵਿਲ ਸਿਟ ਇਨ ਦ ਕਾਮ ਔਰ ਓਰਮ ਔਰ ਪਲੇਸ ਲੋ ਪਰ ਦੇ it will bring back it will bring back the food it will bring back the food then chewing well that process is called chewing the curd at the upper end digestion will occur sorry so at the time it has flat molars so type of teeth in herbivores and the strong sharp and front teeth to cut the food flat molars grinding teeth for chewing their food apra what the carnivores carnivores na animals such as dog tiger crocodile eagle which eat flesh of other animals they are called carnivores example uh, fox uh, snake adana uh, example for carnivores okay the carnivores have long sharp teeth or pointed beak for tearing the flesh then what are omnivores no animals that eat both plants and animals then define a food chain food chain is defined as series of living things in a community community in a or set of place or different level of food chain so they are arranged arranged according to their food relation sorry what is the importance they show how nutrients move from one living to another what does it mean if on the grass it has to be eaten by herbivores it has to be eaten by the deer yeah or giraffe and that deer or giraffe should be eaten by consumers consumers and the frog or the snake chapla na so the frog and the nariya ido snake illa nakka so in the mari different break in the food chain varama it has to be maintained okay then what are decomposers fungi and bacteria in the soil break down plant and animal remains into simpler substances they are called decomposers i hope you understand hmm? then there is one question in our book differentiate between parasitic animal and carnivorous animal carnivorous and other plants and animals chapter same way parasitic animal they are also eating actually parasites are the organism which are living on other living organism which are depending on other living organisms for food and shelter they are called parasites okay so and they live on the other host what's the different parasites they live on the other host whereas carnivores are free living vertebrates idanna nama book la irukku or question paakalam okay now a set of examples are given in our textbook that we have to sort out as what are all the plant products and animal products adu matta paathirulama set of plant products enala cardamom cardamom na elakka enna product plant product paneer paneer undu animal product wheat hmm plant product curd curd and animal product cream animal product prawn prawn na eel al solvanga the non veg chapadala prawn and animal product lettuce lettuce na the pudina eel al solvanga adu mint and the lettuce the type of kale broccoli plant product oats oats kudikiromla kanji kudipome oats plant product butter animal product chicken animal product indha mari set of idu irukke that we have to 
write it as plant or animal products. Now, if you have a plant, you can use the same way. This is the example of the same way. Ingredients. And the ingredients are not only idli na kutta nama saakram chalu matte. Suppose what are the ingredients in brinjal, brinjal curry and sort it out as plant and animal products. Again I am going to add no. Brinjal curry la. Brinjal vegetable plant source. Oil. Oil taken from the seed. Plant soil. Onion, similar onion, onion as plant source. Then masala, and spices, plant source. Some will add fish or some type of shape. non vegetable. animal source. plant source, animal source. In the example, you should know to. Right. You should think and write. I hope you understand. Hmm? Then we come across another term called a beverage. Beverage is the, the drinks, the alcohol, the the coffee, tea, cocoa, they are all called beverages. So normal cold drinks, the drinks are beverages. Example for beverages. Coffee, tea, and cocoa. Example for uh, spices, clove and cardamom. Clove and the crumble, cardamom, elakai. Okay. What is the example of flowers as a plant product? It is flowers learn. It is cauliflower and broccoli. Flower and the banana kuda chitram. Cauliflower, broccoli, and banana. Leaves learn. Cabbage, spinal, and lettuce. So, yeah. Same way, stemular, potato, garlic, and ginger. The only examples put the form. Like that, you should know to write. I hope you understand. And now, 6th standard level, first time, the lesson 5 level, lesson go through Pani Deva. And then, example explain. அதையே நீயாவே மக்கப் பண்ணாதே சின்ன சின்ன கொச்சினா பாம் பண்ண கட்டுக்கும் CBSEல அதுதான் சிரியா தெரியாதுல்லாதே பகத்தில் ஒரு சின்ன பேபர் எடுத்து ஒட்டி டாவ்டுனைப் போட்டு வே நாம் சுக்கும் தன்னாட்டு I hope you understand this first lesson இத வெச்சு நீ ஏற்கனவே பட்சத வெச்சு you have to get ready for the objective tactics I hope you will do that all the best. We will continue in the next class. Okay. Thank you.